Hello everyone, welcome to PM Networking. Guys, today we will discuss how to configure BGP in network, right? How to configure BGP. So, topology is this, right? You can see over here, we have five router, right? Router number one belongs to AS number 100 and router number two, three, four, five belongs to AS 200, right? So, we will configure IBGP over here, right? IBGP and if I talk about R1 and R2, between R1 and R2, neighborship will be EBGP, right? EBGP. So, as you know, IBGP will never share the route which prefix from the other IBGP neighbor. Suppose R2 is advertising a route of 10.1.0 slash 24 to R3. Now, R3 will never share that prefix to R4, right? So we will break that rule as well as split horizon rule, right? This is a split horizon rule loop avoidance mechanism in IBGP. Am I right? So we will see, we will discuss how to how to break this rule as well with root reflector. We will discuss root reflector as well. Root reflector as well as we will discuss root map. Root map. I am not going to discuss theory. I will directly show you everything practically, right? So first of all, let you know, I am going to configure IP address over here is 12.1, over here is 12.2, right? 23.2 over here, 23.3 over here, right? 34.4 over here, 34, sorry, 34.3, 34.4 over here and 45.4 over here and 45. dot five over here right and here is one network running 50.1.1.0 over here after that i will show you how this user how this lan is able to communicate with this lan right so we will discuss each and everything step by step don't worry okay so let me show you ip ip address right so ip interface brief exclude unassigned right? you can see on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 i am running ip address 12.1 and fast ethernet 0 slash 1 i am running 10.1.1.1 okay so in the same way you can check ip address on r2 as well so ip interface brief exclude unassigned right? you can see on interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 i am running 12.2 and on fast ethernet 0 slash 1 i am running 23.1 right in the same way i configure ip address on r3 r4 r5 as well okay so let me configure bgp let me configure bgp so go to r1 let me configure bgp over here router bgp 100 I am using S yes, 100 over here. After that, neighbor. Neighbor is 12.1.1.2. Whose remote AS is whose remote AS is 100. Fine. After that, router. Sorry, router BGP 100. Let me advertise this network. BGP is already. Okay, let me remove this command, not 200, 100 over here, right? Router, BCP, 100, and network command. Network is 10.1.1.0. Mask, 255.255.255.0, right? You can see BCP table, so IP BCP. Yes, there is one entry and there is two sign, a star sign and greater sign. That means this route is valid and best, right? So this router will install this route in routing table as well. So IP route. Yes. Okay. And let me configure R2 first, right? Actually, what I configure on R1, I configure router BGP 100, neighbor is 12.1.1.2, and after that I advertise 10 network in BGP. Okay. So Come on R2. Let me configure BGP over here. Router BGP 200. Neighbor. Neighbor is 12.1.1.1. And remote AS is 
200 100 right 100 and other neighbor is 23 23.1.1.3 whose remote as is 200 right whose remote as is 200 right so ip bgp you can see in bgp table there is one entry star sign and greater sign that means this is a valid and best right 10.1.1.0 slash 24 whose next hop ip address is 12.1.1.1 right so this router will install this prefix in their routing table as well so ip root yes and here is B, B for BGP, fine, but, but this router will not share this prefix to R3, right, let me show you, configure terminal, router, BGP, 200, and neighbor, neighbor is 23.1.1.1, so the remote AS is, 200 fine and other neighbor is other neighbor of r3 is 34.1.1.4 fine yes there will be one entry in bgp table there will be one entry in bgp table but this router will not install that prefix in their routing table why there is no entry let me check so ip bgp so r2 is not advertising and network so bgp summary so yes there is 20 ping let me ping my neighbor 23.1.1.2 yes i am able to ping so ip bgp there is any entry guys no why let me click on r2 so bgp summary so yes there is two neighbor 12.1.1 and 23.1.1.3 so bgp summary 23.1.1.1 okay so actually i i, I should configure 23.1.1.2 over here right let me connect it router bgp 200 no neighbor 12 23.1.1.1 whose remote yes, is 200 okay. now let me configure neighbor again neighbor 23.1.1.2 23.1.1.2 and remote as yes, is now, now let me show you BGP table. So IP BGP. Again, there is no any entry. Yes, there is one entry. You can see there is one entry. That and net and dot one dot one dot zero slash twenty four. Next of IP address is. 12.1.1.1 but r3 is not reachable to 12.1.1.1 that's why here is not greater sign right only a star sign that means this prefix is valid but not best so this sorter will not install this root in their routing table so ip root you can see over here there is no any entry for tan network right because because this root is not best root right because Router 3 is not reachable to 12.1.1.1. So what I can do over here is I can advertise 12 network in BGP as well, right? I can advertise this network, 12 network in BGP, right? Then definitely R3 will be reachable to 12.1.1.0 network, right? Then definitely this route will valid and best. Then this router will install the, that route in their routing table. But usually we never advertise a WAN link in BGP. Am I right? I had discussed these things in theory class, right? So usually we never advertise WAN link, right? So we have one other option, as you know, right? Self, never self, next hop self advertisement, right? So go to R2, go to R2 
and run one command right but this command is only applicable for edge router right r2 is my edge router because i am using as 100 over here and 200 over here that means this is my edge router so this command is only valid for edge router right let me show you let me configure it first router bgp 100 and never never is 23.1.1.t next hop self fine enter now let me show you the bgp table of r3 and now you can see there is no any change so let me let me refresh the table right now this order is going to generate root refresh message root refresh message right clear ip bgp here ip bgp star soft in right? once i enter this order will generate a root refresh message and now you can see the bgp table now this root is valid and best because next hop ip address is r2 is advertising their self next hop ip address that is 23.1.1.2 and r3 is reachable to 21.1.2 21.1.2 right r2 is advertising this prefix with their self interface that is 23.1.1.2 now r3 is reachable to 23.1.1.2 because 23.1.1.0 is directly connected network right so that means this root is valid now and best so this order is going to install this root in their routing table as well to ip root you can see over here and dot zero dot zero dot zero slash 24 right 10 dot one dot one dot zero zero ad value is 200 because this order R3 is received from R2, right? External internal router, right? From IPGP router, right? So that's why AD value is 200 via 23.1.1.2. And till when this router install this prefix 40 sec, 47 second, right? Now let me configure R4 first, right? Let me configure R4 first. Configure terminal router BGP 200 and neighbor is one neighbor is 34.1.1.3 whose remote S yes, is 100. Am I right? And other neighbor is other neighbor of R4 is 45.1.1.5. Fine. Let me show you the BGP table of R4. So IP BGP. Guys, is there any entry? No. Because R3, R3 will never advertise this prefix to R4, right? Remember the split horizon rule, right? Whenever a router will receive a prefix from IPGP, never. That router will never going to advertise that prefix with other IBGP, never, right? So R3 is receiving this prefix 10.1.1.0 slash 24 from IBGP never. So this order will never advertise with other IBGP never, right? So that's the reason why there is no any entry for, for 10 network. Okay, just wait for some time. Let me configure R5 first. Let me configure R5 first, right? So router BGP 200 never is. 45.1.1.4 and remote AS is 200. Right? Let me advertise this network 50 as well, 50.1.1.0 and mask is 255.255.255.0. Let me show you BGP table. So IP BGP. You can see over here there is one route, right? But this is not a best. Just wait for some time. After that, this this route will be best as well. It's a directly connected network. Definitely this route is best. Here IP, BGP, star 
सॉफ्ट किन सो बिजी पी टेबल सो आई पी इंटरफेस ब्रीफ यस फिफ्टी डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट वन फिफ्टी डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट वन नेक्स्ट हॉप इज जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो दैट मीन्स सेल्फ एडवर्टाइज प्रीफिक्स बट वाई नॉट इट्स बेस्ट Now you can see this is a best route, right? best and valid. Right? This order will install this prefix in their routing table as well. So IP route you can see over here 50. Let me show you on R4. So IP BGP. Yes, there is one entry 50.1.1.0 slash 24, right? And next hop is 44.1.1.5, right? Now. This router is not going to advertise this so this prefix with router three, so IP BGP, right? Right? There are any entry for 50 network? No, right? No. So R3 is not advertising 10 network to R4, and R4 is not advertising 50 network to R3, right? so what we have to do over here is we need to configure root reflector we need to configure root reflector to break the rule of split horizon right so let me configure guys first of all this is a server router this is a non client router this is also a non client router right so if if i configure client router right if i say to r3 that your client is r4 your client is r4 then definitely r r4 r3 will advertise tant prefix with their client router that is router number 4 right and router number 4 will also advertise this prefix with r5 right okay let me configure it first configure first of all let me show you one more thing over here so ip root no so ip bgp so ip bgp right this is best and valid but this router will advertise this prefix with r4 but not modify next hop address right so we will discuss these things as well right first of all let me configure R4 to client, right? Configure terminal router BGP router BGP 200 and never never is 34.1.1.4, right? Root reflector client. Let me enter this command. Right? Now never is down and again never will up, right? Yes, fine. Now let me show you the bgp table of r4 so ip bgp you can see over here there is one prefix right that is 10.1.1.0/24 but this is not a best because because of next hop ip address i bgp router will never modify next hop right so r3 is receiving r3 is receiving this prefix with next hop Next up, twenty three dot one dot one dot two, and R three is advertising tan prefix with same next up address, right? So that's the reason. That's the reason R four is not reachable to R twenty twenty three dot one dot one dot two, right? R four is not reachable to twenty three dot one dot one dot two. So that's why this route is not best. So this router is not going to install this prefix in their routing table. So IP root, right? You can see over here there is no any entry for tan network. Right? So let me configure root map for that, right? Root map. If you remember root map, root map. Let me give one name to root map. M and permit. Okay. Now set IP next hop. Set IP next hop is 
what I want to set 34.1.1.c. Am I right? Now, how we can use this root map in BGP router? BGP 200, right? And neighbor is 34.1.1.34.1.1.c. Right? Root map PM and direction will be in. Fine. Let me show you BGP table again. So IP BGP. So you can see there is no any change. Let me refresh. Let me refresh the BGP table. So clear, clear IP BGP soft in. Right. And now you can see over here. Right. Now next of IP address is 34.1.1.3 so 34.1.1.3 is reachable from R4 yes so that's the reason this route is valid and best now this router will install this route in their routing table as well so IP route you can see over here there is one entry right for 10 network via 34.1.1.3 okay go to R5 go to R5 so IP BGP as there is no any entry for for TAN, TAN network right for TAN prefix right so let me go to R4 and let me configure R5 to client so router BGP 200 neighbor is 45.1.1.5 right and root reflector client right now you can check R5 BGP table, right? Router 5 BGP table. So IP BGP. You can see over here there is one route for TAN network, right? But this is not the best route because next of IP address is 34.1.1.3. R5 is not reachable to 34.1.1.3. So we need to configure route map again. So Okay, let me configure root map on R4 or we can configure root map on R5 as well. Let me configure on R5. Okay, no problem. So router root, sorry, root map PM permit. Let permit all traffic, right? Set next set IP next hop and Next hop IP is 45.1.1.4. Right. Let me use this route map in BGP. So router BGP 200, 200, and neighbor is 45.1.1.4. For that, for this neighbor, use route map whose name is PM and direction will be in. Right. Let me show you. The BGP table now, so IP BGP. You can see there is no change. Let me clear BGP table. So IP BGP, clear IP BGP, star shop in. Right? Let me show you again BGP table. Now this route is valid and best. So this router will install this route in their routing table as well. So IP route, you can see over here, there is one entry for a network. Right? Now let me check our uh, 50.1.1.0 network, right? So go to R4, so IP root. So yes, there is one entry for 50 network, fine. Go to R3, let me check on R3. So here is my R3, yes. So IP BGP. There is one entry for 50 network, but this is not a valid route. So let me configure route map over here again. Right? Router. Route map. Sorry, not router. <laughs> route map. And let me give one name. PM permit. Right? Set IP next hop. Next hop is 34.1.1.4. Right. Let me use this root map in BGP. So router BGP 200 and never 44.1.1.4. And for this neighbor, use root map PM in which direction? In direction. 
let me show you bgp table again so ip bgp yes still this is not a valid waste route right so let me clear the bgp table so ip bgp bgp star top 10 now now you can see right fifty network is valid as well as best right but r2 is not advertising with r2 right let me show you r2 so now i am on r2 so ip bgp is there any entry yes there is one entry because r3 is because r3 is server and r4 is client right so r3 is receiving update from client right so r3 is going to advertise this prefix with non client router with r2 so that's the reason why here is entry for 50 network right let me configure root map over here to make this root best right to make this root best so root map let me give one name to this root map en and permit right set ip next hop set ip next hop next hop ip will be 23.1.1.3 am i right let me use this root map in bgp router bgp 200 router bgp 200 and never is never is 23.1.1.3 right for that use root map name is pn and direction will be in yes let me show you bgp table so ip bgp guys you can see over here there is still still the network is not best right so let me clear the bgp table so ip bgp are soft in now this route is valid and best so this router will install this route in their routing table yes so ip route yes there is entry for 50 network let me show let me show you on r1 right so ip bgp yes there is one entry and this entry is valid and best because r1 is receiving this update from from ebgp from ebgp right so that's why R2 will modify the next hop address, right? EBGP router will never modify next hop, but IP, sorry, IPGP router will never modify next hop, but EBGP router will modify next hop address, right? So that's the reason why here is 50 network. So let me show you routing table of R1. Yes, there is one entry for 50 network. Let me ping, let me ping. 50.1.1.1 and source will be 10.1.1.1 and guys you can see over here I am able to ping 50.1 from 10.1 so this is how you can configure BGP in your network right this is how you can configure BGP in your network right so this is how you can configure internal bgp this is how you can configure external bgp right so guys if you like this video please hit, hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel right i am uploading this video on ccna on ccnp on ccna security every day right so you will get notified whenever i will upload next video right thank you thanks for watching bye bye guys that's all for today.